before you tonight to um, go over the other um, collective bargaining agreements, um, just for the public certification, if they should ever get to see this. Um, we were at the board's direction. The negotiating committee uh, was able to reach tentative agreements uh, with the remaining um, police and fire units. Um, I'll start off with the police unit, um, consistent with what we discussed previously with the Teamsters. Um, we were able to come to agreement with the uh, police, both patrolmen's and sergeant's uh, contracts. Um, and in general, the cost items I'll go through, um, the number of sections there are. Overall, what I'll say is our goal was to go in and deal with the Cadillac tax issue. Um, we, again, with uh, both police uh, patrolmen and sergeants, were able to come to agreement on that major issue. In doing so, there are a number of agreements we made. Some of the items, as we've gone through them quickly, as we go through them quickly, are non-cost items that are language repairs or other items. So I'll go through them. Um, Article 11, uh, Section 4, and, and, and again, I'm doing a summary sheet that will both the articles are somewhat different in each contract, but they, uh, pardon me, the numberings are different in each contract, but the item is relatively the same. Um, there's an agreement uh, that we'll allow our detectives and prosecutors during their um, lunch break to work out in the fitness room that's downstairs. That's a non-cost item. Um, in the, the sergeant's contract, um, there'll be a seniority change. Um, there was an agreement that takes our retired officers who remain as part-time officers will head the seniority list of the part-time folks. What that basically is doing is saying um, that the full-time service years are recognized for the full-time versus the summers that the part-timers do. Again, that doesn't really change anything. Those folks are already on the call list. There's no cost to that issue. Um, next item is... Um, uh, just a fixing a, a language issue that had to be left over and how the call list is called. Um, no issues there except for cleaning up some language. Um, the new ad is a comp time, for lack of a better term, bank. But an agreement that will allow um, officers to make a selection to choose rather than take overtime for work to take um, comp time earned at the same pace for up to no more than 40 hours is the maximum amount to be able to be accrued and it must be used within six months. Um, next is uh, for special officers who have served five or more years there's an agreement to allow them to earn um, one personal day during the summer period. Um, again it was a focus on really those longer serving folks um, to allow them some time off if need be. Um, there's a requirement that they have to have worked uh, at least 40 shifts in the year before in order for that provision to enact. And again, it's those that are five years of service or more. And as you'll recall, uh, with our thinning of the specials, there aren't all that many that are left in that ballpark. Um, as um, we had had a tentative agreement previously on dealing with the sick banks, the missions within the contracts that uh, the police units and the fire units have, there's some language that we have changed in there. Um, that we believe removes some old things and clarifies some other issues that had led to grievances in the past. There was agreement there. Um, we fixed some language in several other areas that just fixes uh, an improperly listed RSA, um, as we did with the Teamsters, and again, as a part of the agreement now into the healthcare area, we reached agreement so that, that essentially any um, member of the association who, if the Cadillac tax should, if and when the Cadillac tax should take effect, those people will either move to a plan that does not hit the threshold limits or they will be responsible for paying 100 percent of the tax thus protecting the taxpayers from any impact of that cadillac tax which again was the board's direction to us as our primary focus uh, during these negotiations one of the other items we did in there is also increase the level for incentives for folks to opt out of our program uh, and increased from what is now 500 750 and a thousand dollars for the single double family to 2,000 3,000 4,000 on the top end some of those plans are 29 or in that ballpark high 20,000 so it's an incentive for those folks to move off if they have an option um, we added some language in there also that those folks have to um, show us that in fact they are moving they are covered under another plan in order for that to occur um, again we touched on what the agreement is with regard to the Cadillac tax um, in a uniform allowance, there was a slight adjustment upward for detectives um, and only detectives who are required to wear both plain clothes and uniforms at a certain level. So there was an additional, I think it was $250 on the uniform allowance to help offset those costs associated with the detectives for that. 
um, some other language cleaned up in another paragraph under Article 23. And finally, it's a three-year agreement, and it is at a 3% for each of those three years, three, three, and three over the three-year period. Essentially, that's a quick overview of all the items within the police contract. It's my suggestion that the board uh, make a determination of whether you want to move this forward first to ratify, and then second, move it forward to a warrant article. And I'd ask the board to take a vote on each of those. And that's already been ratified. Correct. All of these tentative agreements by the uh, groups have already been ratified by the respective groups. Okay, so. would ask that there be a motion and the board's vote for on. All of them, or? Well, we'll start with the police and then we'll go to the fire next and take them just so we're clear. Could uh, the assistant town manager and negotiator frame the motion and then we move and second it? Sure, I'd be happy to answer any questions, but I would first indicate that the board make a motion. Um, to ratify the contract and take a vote on that. Ratify the police patrolman and sergeant's contract as presented. So moved. Second. All those in favor, unanimous. You know, just a question, just to, on, on Article 20 or Article 19, Section 3 there, on the increasing the, the buyout, mm -hmm. you know, just make sure that the public knows that that's a savings for us in the end. I mean, because... You're giving them more money, but they're opting out of it. Very expensive. That's true. If additional folks opt off that plan, there's a substantial savings to the town. Um, on that. <coughs> even as it is, there is a savings on the town for folks not being on right. that plan. But it's just more incentive to opt out, right? That, well, it's absolutely. It's yeah. recognizing the cost of that plan, and if folks move off, it certainly is a substantial savings to the town. Okay. Okay. And the second motion is the board, and you had the samples from from earlier of the war draft. Warrant article, and ask that you'd move that forward as well. We have a draft warrant article for, you mean for the police contract? Yes, ma'am. Police contracts. Contract. Both there's Plural. two warrant yes. articles. There's one for patrolmen, right. one for sergeants. That'll allow us to move that on to the budget committee also and present to them this week. That we see that those uh, ratified articles are added onto the warrant. I'll second it. All those in favor, unanimous. And now um, on the fire units, and again, there are two units. There are the firefighters and there are the uh, supervisors. Yeah. It's uh, local uh, 2664 and 3017. Yeah. Um, and again, um, based on your direction, we were unable to come to an agreement on the Cadillac tax language with these <coughs> units after numerous negotiations. Um, and at the board's direction, uh, before we uh, went to, to final impasse, uh, was decided to go back and talk to them about a one-year contract extension. Um, we were able to achieve that tentative agreement for each of those separate units at a 1.75% uh, increase, uh, as well as include a language dealing with the sick bank, solving those issues as we did in the police. There was previously this year the board had signed a memorandum of understanding with Local 2664 on that issue. We would incorporate that both into Local 2664 and 3017s. So again, it's a very simple 1.75, one-year duration, and the language with regard to the sick bank in both those two units. And both, yeah, contract, any questions. both contract proposals have been ratified by the unions? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. So move to uh, ratify the agreement and to uh, uh, post this a uh, warrant article. I'll second it. All those in favor? Unanimous. And that is all and I, I have for you this evening. I will move that we see that both articles for the firefighters and supervisors unions be transferred on to warrant articles Second. for the warrant. All those in favor, unanimous. Rusty Very seconded well. me. Thank you. Thank you.